Hey, what's going on, you guys? Big Bill back with some more American Truck Simulator. Um, sorry if I had the long pause there. I figured I'll give you guys a show of the model truck. Well, actually, the truck mod I am showing off tonight. Um, I'm going to do things a little bit different tonight. Um, I got a quick load for this job. Um, I'm actually going to do it. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Um, I'm a little under the weather right now. Um, it's currently 11 o'clock here where I live. And um, so I'm going to get to bed. Uh, this video will be uploaded around hopefully 10 o'clock, maybe 11 o'clock tomorrow morning or tomorrow midday on Saturday. Um, I want to say uh, thank you guys for everything and hope you guys enjoy. So what do we have here today? This is the Peterbilt 567. Um, this is a GTM. You can find this truck mod on the Seam Workshop. I will. I won't be able to put a link in the description, but um, let's just say it's a beautiful truck. Um, unfortunately, this is not a new. This is not a new profile. This is actually my career profile, uh, my MHA Pro. Um, there's been a lot of stuff I've been doing, uh, new mods and stuff. I will be getting back into that career mode. Um, once I get everything fixed and once I get a little healthier, um, feeling a little bit under the weather and hopefully I can bring you guys more videos. Um, so yeah, no, so enough about me, let's get to the truck. This is a truck, um, built from 2015 to 2018. It has two cabs and nine chassis. It's an offspring of the 389 and the 579. Basically what that means is it's a mix of both the 389 and the 579. The 579 with the aerodynamics, I believe, and the 389 with the long hood. As was do, check it out. As there's a 389, Vipers 389. So, here you guys go. Beautiful truck. This does pop up in uh, quick jobs. I would do that quick, but um, I come out on a time crunch. Day cabin and the ultra cab sleeper. Chassis, you got your short, your 4x2, which is really cool. Your 6x2, 6x4, 6x2, 310 gallons. And then you got your uh, heavy haul chassis, which is this one. Um, GTM also makes uh, the Kenworth W900B, uh, is it the B or W at the end, and uh, T800, Kenworth T800. I will be showing you guys them two mods also. Engines, Packer and Cummins, with the highest engine being a Cummins X15 605 Performance Series. Really cool stuff here. Um, one of my favorite things is, is actually for the Cummins... He's got the performance and the efficiency ones, and pretty much uh, performance is to help with oversized loads, um, heavy loads, and the efficiency is, I believe it's all about the fuel mileage. I'm not 100% sure on that, but transmissions, you got all kinds, you got your Allison's, your Eaton's, um, yeah, with all different ratios, I think you got 10 speed, 13 speeds. 18 speeds, 6 speeds, and 7 speeds, and they got a lot of retarders. But this is one of my favorites, and that is this, the interior, the heritage. And I have to say, this is pretty badass. And I love my Peterbelts, and let me just say, this is nice. Um, so what is about the Heritage? The Heritage model is a setup for comfort and style with your distinct tan interior and also attaching chrome. And they have a badging on the outside right here, Heritage. Try to get a good look. There you guys go. Heritage right there. And then there's a number, unless that's in the sleeper on the sleeper which I can't seem to find these do work the cables um, so yeah a lot of different paint a lot of paint schemes there's a swift one 
I don't think a lot of people are going to be running on that. Um, if you guys do, let me know. Uh, Penske, UPS, and that's about it. And then they got all these uh, unique ones. I see my favorites either this one or this one. There's a couple other ones in there. Like this guy, I like that one. But let's go back to let's go to deep black. A few things. You got your double radiant and your two D radiant. Got your side arrow kit, your full arrow kit. And yeah, so this is what I mean by 579 look right here. So this part is 389, this part would be the 579, but if you take that off, now you more like like a 389, in my opinion. Um, a lot of different stuff with the lights up here, metal detectors, old school indicators, which I love. Got your trims here. Really deep down, is it a nice truck? Interior, you don't have a lot of customizations. Actually, you do. You have your GPS. Huh. I just now figured out what that one was. Also, um, just let you guys know, I will be doing more American Truck Simulator videos. And also, um, just let you guys, everybody know, I will be doing a Forza Motorsport 7 video tomorrow night. I will be uploading that Sunday morning. So now, enough talking. Let's hop in the truck. Here you guys go. We're hauling a 53-foot dry van. I don't know why, but it's got fruits in it. I figured it's been a while since I've been on this profile, so excuse me. We're hauling um, fruits, 33,157 pounds of fruit. Surprised we're not in a reefer. But anyways, let's get going. Now my other profile that I use that has coast to coast, um, Get a move on, shall we? Anyways, guys, how are you guys doing? I'm doing, as like I said before in the video, I'm doing a little bit better. Now we're gonna get off topic here with the truck. Um, there's a few things I did do um, to this profile. I did buy expansion for my garage, and I also got. An expansion. I mean, I bought a uh, few trucks. One of my favorite things about this, it moves the cable. I made a little cord there for the CB radio. That's my favorite thing right now because a lot of the trucks that I have out there now, they don't have that. You guys can see that well. Focus, focus, Billy, focus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are two different horns. You got your little baby horn, and then you got this guy. What's happening this here? So, you guys, a lot of you guys have been asking me. Um, about American trucks, we're gonna run this red. <laughs> Sorry. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking me about doing um, Forza videos. Um, I will get back to you guys on that. I have think up thought about it for a little bit. Son of a bitch. I hate this intersection.
but um but um I will be doing some more Forza Motorsport 7 videos um before Forza Horizon 3 does come out um like I said there is a video for Forza Motorsport 7 coming up tomorrow night which I'll be doing and yeah Oops, sorry, buddy. Not the one I wanted. Yeah, guys, it's been a while since I've been playing this game. There we go. So... And all in all, um, thank you guys for everything. Uh, and when I mean that, I mean uh, thank you guys for thank you guys for all the views, the comments, and stuff like that. Um, God damn it! <laughs> Sorry, guys. Thank you for um, for everything. Actually getting close to 100 subscribers um don't know yet i don't know what i'm gonna do when i get to 100 subscribers uh, i gotta get there first <laughs> but um a lot of also you guys have been asking if you guys can uh save my uh my one playlist i have um which is my racing video playlist uh yes you guys can say that um a lot of people have been asking me that um yeah go ahead <laughs> Feel free to. They're not really my videos. They're actually other channel videos, like the 24-hour series and the Isma series. He's gonna let me over. Good guy. Good man. Um. Also, uh, the DTM series. I did make three, three. Uh, free playlist of that so go ahead <laughs> but anywho um, so yeah this is actually kind of a downfall day had to wake up early to go to work didn't think I was going to be able to do a video because I was busy with family so don't worry guys I'm not ditching you guys I'm just really busy um, you guys are new to my channel. Um, you guys happen to know it's summertime. I'm actually pretty busy, but my work is not very busy at the moment. So, <coughs> excuse me. But if you guys want to do see more review mods, let me know. And if you guys, if you guys have any mods you guys want me to test out and show you guys how it looks, let me know. I'll gladly do that for you. God, this truck's got a lot of power. Now, one of my favorite things about this truck is got the 579 mirrors. Or is it 389 mirrors? But I think they're both the same. I believe they are, so... It's actually pretty cool that I get to look at this mirror right here. I don't have to turn my keyboard... I mean, my my view here with my mouse but I do have some stuff planned um, don't worry uh, my 389 my Vipers 389 is doing good just gotta put the cables on I have not been on this profile for a while and let me tell you when I first started it everything I think it almost crashed We got everything worked out. We're going a little too fast. I think we're going to. Are we going to Santa Maria? Yeah, I think we are. are we? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sunshine crops. Also, if you guys are interested in knowing this, sorry. 
See, it's been a while, boys. It's been a while. I'm, a lot of you have been asking me this lately. Um, about what are you freaking doing? I just lost my train of thought. Oh, yes. A lot of guys have been asking me, um, how was Charlotte Motor Speedway? It was actually really good. Had a decent time. I uh, can't wait for next year. <laughs> if I'm going next year. I don't know yet. But I hope I do. Come up to the stop sign. A couple cars coming from that way. Just a tiny bit. Oh, no, it can. This is funny. Every time I come to this ignorant section here in Santa Maria, ooh, turn. It's funny because every time I come to this intersection, there's not that many cars that come down that bridge. <laughs> God damn. How long has it been? Well, I'll say I don't have a steering wheel. The four ways home. Yeah, no. No. Even though I did pick an easy one. Come on, come on, come on. We're going to go to this camera. Um, for a skip, for... I have to get this, um... Cables. For this truck mod, um, I have to give it a ten out of ten. Um, yep, there it is. I would have to give this a ten out of ten. Um, really, really, there's nothing more you can do to this truck. Maybe add a couple more engines or. Maybe um, add custom sound to it. Really, <coughs> excuse me. Really, there's nothing else um, I would do to this truck. I know um, maybe add a skin or two. Like, let's see here. How good? Let's go here. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. Black. Not bad. I mean, Vipers is a little bit more bluey. But. I like that. But, um. But really, there's nothing. There's nothing more I could do to this truck. You know, I would probably keep it the same. Uh, keep on updating it. Um, so yeah, that's my review on this truck. Um, there's a lot more customizations and I will be doing more with this truck. Um, the next video you'll see, I will have a better, hopefully a better load on the quick jobs. Um, also here, there's my Peterbilt 389, which I gotta go work on.
Let's see here. Now get away. Three nine. Oh, here you go. Here's a five six seven right there. Here's another one with the oversized load. I would click on it, but I'm not going to be on this profile any longer. There's another one right here. So, yes, this truck does pop up in the quick jobs. I mean, if you guys were wondering. Um, and this is updated MHA Pro. Really, I can't wait to play with this. <laughs> But anywho guys, let's go back to the truck. But anywho, um, please like, comment, subscribe like always. Um, thank you guys for everything. Like I said before, I do really appreciate it. And um, I'll see you guys next, up for the next video. Give you a quick show, quick. All right, everybody. Have a good one.